So if we go back to the character on this one, we're going to take another look at the play type for the character. So at the moment we have the unactivate disable other player. Now what we can also do is that once we have disabled the player, if we're saying that we can still activate, we'll use this one in a second, but if we want we can actually say enable this player after it's done as well. So meaning that when I deactivate the one player, it's actually going to maintain the player to stay on so that you'll have two players uh, using the same control if that's the control scheme that they have on at the time. And we'll go to the next one here as well. So we'll set them so that they both are able to do the same thing so we can bounce back and forth here. Alright. So again, what this is going to allow us to do, we're going to be able to use the one character and then we'll activate the other. And then when we deactivate them, uh, it's going to turn both of them on for us. So if I go here and I uh, activate him, now when I use my uh, interact button, so if I push E, now what that does is makes both the characters move using the same keyboard at that point. Alright, so basic setup is just simply turning one off, turning one on, um, without kind of having to use the trigger event system, it's allowing you to kind of do more of a quick uh, enabling, disabling of a uh, player while you're controlling it. All right. And then along with that, let's go ahead and do one last thing here. So on the play options again, the activate by button no deactivating. If this is turned on, what that means is that uh, once you enable to use this player, you can't use the interact button anymore. You actually have to go and trigger and uh, do a trigger input not just it, not the, but the uh, button by itself. So we could do it something like this. We could say that uh, see, we'll say set it up that way. And then let's do the same thing for the other one. There we go. Done. And then when you try it out, and I'll show you, but it's probably more helpful when you try it out because you can push the button and see. So I'm pushing E, so I'm interacting now. But now if I push E again, notice this player is still active even though I push E. Um, basically you're just saying you're giving full control over to this player now so that he can act as a, just a fully independent character, um, meaning that he can go and push E and interact with other things at the same time. Um, so when I go back to this player, I'm having to push E again to, en to enable this one to go. And then I can push E again and notice I'm still just this character. All right. So there we go. So just another level of uh, kind of another layer of being able to control the character and what you can control with the character.